Yasmin Akrami is a North Africa analyst at Brussels International Center, and she joins us live now from Tunis. Thank you for being with us here on the News Hour today. Now, what we're seeing happen to Ghanoushi and this decree that came into place on Friday of sentencing people to five years in prison for uh, spreading false information and 10 years in prison if that information is about a, a government official, do you think this is all indicating that the government, meaning Qais Sayyad, is going to crack down on protesters and anyone who opposes his rule? Well, first, thanks for having me. Um, I think it can be uh, interpreted either way. Uh, it could mean it, it could mean that the president is, uh, um, you know, continuing in his crackdown against corruption. We should um, all remember that uh, the arrest of major uh, Nahda leaders is part of um, a very old and ongoing case of um, state involvement and Tunisian foreign fighters traveling to to zones of conflict, specifically Syria post-2011, and especially when Nahda was in power. Uh, so that could be interpreted as that. The, also, the fake news uh, law could be interpreted as, um, you know, uh, efforts to counter corruption and the spread of false information. But for um, Qais Saeed's, um, you know, opponents, um, this is further um, signaling that um, a one-man rule mm -hmm. is, um, you know, concretizing in Tunisia. Right. Let's talk about that a bit. Give us some insight into the support behind uh, Syed, because most of the decisions that he's made uh, indicates that Tunisia is getting closer to that one-man rule system. So there, there are two types of, of support or opposition, um, there still is uh, pretty widespread support among Tunisians and the Tunisian population in general, not, uh, you know, necessarily for what uh, Qais Saeed has been doing, but against, you know, years of frustration and, uh, and yeah, pr frustration with the political elite. And then political parties um, uh, remain largely um, opposed to what Qais Saeed has been and doing and is doing specifically also with um, um, the publication of the new uh, electoral law for the legislative elections um, of, of December 2022 that basically excludes political parties from, um, from the political game. Right, but Tunisians have also started to get angry. We're seeing an increase of protests against Saeed for not doing enough to solve the country's economic and social crises. We've seen an uprising erupt once before in Tunisia. Can we see that happen again? Nothing is to be excluded. Tunisians have been angry for a very, very long time, and it's all, all, only worsening. There's a, um, a, a massive shortage of basic commodities, um, living in Tunisia as a Tunisian is becoming more and more unbearable, more and more expensive. And uh, yes, an uprising is, is not to be excluded, in my opinion, yes. All right, Yasmin Akrimi, thank you so much for joining us here on the News Hour. It's a pleasure speaking to you.